guys, what's up? It's your girl Jay, and welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys, I'm gonna be doing a huge lounge wear haul, and this is by the new collection by Adrian Balone Houghton, and it's called La Voute Lounge Wear. This is up under her company called La Voute, and she sells vegan handbags, and also now she recently sells lounge wear as well. This is her first ever clothing line that she's ever done, and I'm super excited to share with you guys how these pieces look on me and I will give my honest opinion at the end of this video. So this is going to be a long one. I literally spent too much money on things that I probably really didn't need but I just really wanted to test out this lounge wear because I was super excited for her and I've been a supporter of her since her Cheetah Girl days. If you guys do not know she was Chanel and Cheetah Girls and I've literally been obsessed with the diversity in that movie and that was a movie that I grew up watching and so I really wanted to just support her and she has the same aesthetics as me so I was like this is going to be a good one. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how those pieces look on me and what I think about them so without further ado let's get right into this video. I'm excited. Let's go. So, hey you guys, what is up? I'm just gonna be showing you guys what all I bought. So I have a whole bed full of stuff. This is literally what I was talking about when I told you guys. I literally went ham. I got every single la loungewear pant that she has. And then I even got a purse over there. I'll show you guys at probably towards the end. But I got every single color. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it was packaged. This is how it comes when it comes shipped and it has like the Lulu lounge where she tapes it up with her own little thing. So I thought that was like cute branding, branding. And then it comes packaged like the pants, um, the Lulu lounge wear pants come in this and the bandeaus and the sports bras come in this small little zip up package. I think this is actually pretty cute. It reminds me of like what you put your uh, sandwiches and stuff in and you know when you put your meats and stuff you want to fr like refrigerate or freeze your meat kind of reminds me of that but it's still like so minimalistic and so cute so it's all about branding I love it so we're gonna go ahead and deep dive into all of this you guys so let's get it let's go so you guys first up we have the cold shutter top with the pre-vet loungers i hope i'm saying that right it's french and i believe this french like this mesh detailing that it has over here on the side is this color is in the color sands um and with this like crop top situation it is elastic so it does hug and i like that feature about it and also the waistband detail the waistband is like this is like elastic and i like that it's like you know, I can like fit it over my stomach area. And then I like the part that's a big elastic waistband because it is a high rise and it just covers the stomach area. I don't know if I really like the mesh detailing on the side because it kind of shows my little poop a little bit. But <laughs> we all ignore that part. But overall, I feel like I keep on wanting to tug this down in the front. I don't know if it's cut short or whatever. But I will say the material feels very, like, thick. <laughs> it's very thick. <laughs> a very thick material. So it doesn't, doesn't feel cheap by any means. I really like this color on me. I feel like it does my melanin really, like, really good justice. And I overall really kind of like this, especially when I'm just lounging at home. I will say that she does not call her leggings with her lounger sweatpants because she was like in this Instagram post I, that she posted she was like we're not it's not sweatpants because we're not sweating in it and it's not joggers because where are we jogging to so they're loungers because we're going to be lounging and look cute so I definitely get that vibe from this set honestly I'm still getting comfortable like used to like showing being in a crop top like this like even being on camera you know, show you guys how this looks on me. Feels a little bit awkward, but overall, like in my own house, just get used to like being comfortable in it. I would really, 
really wear this, especially once it gets cold outside. I just feel like this is so perfect to snuggle in front of my fireplace with, you know, watch a good Christmas movie. Overall, I'm not mad at it. I probably wouldn't buy the pants again because I don't like how it looks on the side panel for me. But it's supposed to be slimming and like sucks everything in. So I get where she was going with that. And also she said she customized the um, ends of the string. I don't know what to call this. <laughs> the string. So they're uh, supposed to be like really, really good quality. So we'll test that out and see how long these pants last. But yeah, overall, like I'm not mad at it. I actually kind of like it on me. So we're just gonna go on to the next one. Okay, so now we're moving on to this short and crop top look right here. When I was buying these looks, I made sure that I wanted to color coordinate every single piece. And if I had a bottom, I wanted to make sure I had a top to go with it. And I just wanted to hold an outfit vibe. And so I really am liking the shorts. It's still that same good quality like the other loungers that I was in. And these shorts are called the go-to shorts. And the crop top little sweater hoodie thing is called the Privacy Please Hoodie. So when it comes to this, I really like the shorts. And I like that they have, they have pockets. The ones, the lounge that I tried on before this did not have pockets. And I didn't realize I was missing that feature. So that's probably another reason like why those weren't like my favorite so far. But I really am liking these shorts. And they're not too short. I thought they look really well and really flattering on me but when it, when it comes to the hoodie um i thought it was gonna be a lot more oversized than what it is and it fits kind of snug and the cut seems like really low it seems like it's cut just short and i don't know if it's because i have boobs or she wasn't planning on anyone with boobs wearing this i don't know it just feels like it's cut very short and when i saw it on one of the models that they had it looked like it was a little bit oversized on her so I don't know her boobs are smaller than mine so I thought it would be like a little bit more oversized especially since it's on a plus size woman so I like ugh, I don't know I'm here for it but at the same time it's like I really don't vibe with the hoodie As when you reach your arms up you can see the bra that's up underneath that's why I bought this bralette but the funny thing is you guys and it's not funny because it's my money Oh, that rhymed. It's not funny because it's my money. But when I put on the bralette, it snapped. And you guys, the bralette, I can already tell before you even snap that it wasn't going to work for me. Like, I have girls. Like, they're, they're here. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. So, I, it just didn't work for me. And I really wanted this whole thing to just be a look. But when I saw the description of Reddit, it said that it does support and uplift. So I was like, let me try it. So you guys, when I first saw the bralette, I wasn't going to initially buy it. But then I looked at the description, it was like it supports. And I really have never tried on a bralette because normally, like some of them do something for me and they like, if it's small enough, then it go ooh. But I honestly shouldn't have like even tried it with this. The bra strap is the only thing that supports my girls were just eh, and I was like no and it honestly like broke right here because like literally the only thing that supports this whole entire bra is for me is the strap I had to tighten it and then it broke from the triangle part I could probably get it sewn on and sewn back on but I'm never gonna wear it so I was just like whatever but the band also I should have known when I saw this the band is very small in the back and for a plus size girls normally plus size girls we have boobs some of us are like you know stomach no boobs but a lot of the plus size girls that I know we have boobs this small band doesn't do anything for us I would recommend having the bands similar to the one that she had in the lounge that I was just wearing if you're gonna do a bralette for a plus size girl put that type of band on a bralette and it gives that like you know the same type of feeling that those shorts gives except it is for your bra and it would just be a lot thicker because we have you know we have breasts we have i'm just gonna say the word we have breasts 
and so that band would have worked a lot better especially with any girl that has boobs she doesn't need to be plus size she can just be a girl who's heavy chested the thicker band would have worked a lot better for thicker chested girls and the small band works a lot better for girls who don't really have anything to show so let's get into this whole thing so this is the dedicated duster it has pockets which i'm completely obsessed with when it comes to loungewear i don't know i just have a fetish for pockets and it is so cute the only thing is i wish i could go like this i can actually you know snuggle up with myself so i wish it was just a little bit more oversized on me but overall i love the duster i'm sure you guys about how it looks behind and how it looks in front and I paired it with this everybody bra but let me just tell you this bra is not for everybody <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a little close-up view I am just really not a fan of the sports bra everybody bra I will say the material feels very good let me just go like this for a second hold on Oof. So the material feels very good on the bra, but it's just not for everybody. Or everybody. Do you get what I'm saying? I just overall with the whole look, I can pass it off. But separately, I don't think I would be much of a fan of it. I just feel like because of the duster, because of the loungers that it passes for me and that actually looks good. But I don't think that I would really like this if it wasn't for the whole fit. And just the fit of it, I can literally feel my under boob right there. And I don't really like that. I just thought it was going to come down a little bit lower. And so like I just can, you know, stuff. But okay. But it just fits so short. And it's cut so short. I don't, I don't like that. But these are the same loungers I was wearing the first time. These are the Privé. 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 Privé loungers. We're going to go with that. Again, <laughs> French. I don't know how to speak that. But I really want to learn. I really do. So you guys, this is the other color that they have. They have four colors. And this is the last color, which is shadow. And it's just a really matte black look. And I'm really obsessed with these loungers. I think by far, these are one of the favorite, my, one of my favorite loungers that I've tried on so far. And these are called the Glove Loungers. And I paired it with the Goddess Bodysuit. And the lounger still has the tie up feature in the inside of the pants and it really like hugs your waist especially since i tied mine pretty tight so it's like a little i just feel really like it you can either tie it loose or you can tie it tight and just show off your definition of your waist and i really like these the only thing that i will say is the body suit this body suit don't let me fool you guys let me show you i couldn't even snap it i couldn't even snap the bodysuit because it's cut so short. I want to show you guys like how it looks. Like it literally, I can't even put it through my legs. That sounds so weird. <laughs> but I can't even fit it through my legs because I couldn't even get it past my stomach because it's so, cut so short. And this, these all that I'm trying on, they're all a 3X. And I have a bodysuit in a 3X, but I just feel like there's no give to the fabric they have. Don't get me wrong, the fabric is nice, but I just wish there was a little give to it because I can't even get it past my stomach. I can't even get the back part past my butt. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. So if I do wear this, I was just planning on buying some extra bodysuits that can fit and that I actually like from somewhere. But overall, if it fit, I would really, really love this bodysuit because this is kind of like one of the ones that I was like I really would have loved that like I cannot wait but now that I'm trying on I can always fake it and like pretend that it fits and just wear it like this because you can't really tell but it's like man I really wanted this to work but the bodysuit just doesn't work for me so I don't have any more tops to show you guys so the rest of this video will just be the loungers and I literally got every single lounger that they had available in all the colors that they have available like i told you i just went a little bit overboard because i was super excited for this launch so this is called the hourglass loungers and they're similar to the pre-vet loungers except they don't have the mesh detailing 
and I really do like these because they have pockets and I like these a lot better than the Privé loungers even though the Privé loungers are still cute and it's on right I just feel like this looks a lot more comfortable and I feel a lot more comfortable in it without the mesh detail paneling on the side and they have pockets and you guys know I love me some pockets okay so you guys these by far I think are my favorite loungers out of all the ones that I bought like these are your Thanksgiving get stuffed eat as much as you want food belly loungers because they're so comfortable and they're oversized and they also have the tie feature in it as well so you can loosen them up it's not too tight around your waist so you can get stuffed and full of Thanksgiving and just let these bad boys out because let's be honest for Thanksgiving with the current climate, we're not going outside and we're not going anywhere. You just come to the living room with your cute loungers, cook, eat your food, you know, curl up into the front of the TV, whatever after you're done. And these are that. This is that mood, especially with these loungers. And these loungers are called the lovers loungers and they honestly just feel so comfortable. They also have the oversized uh, detailing at the bottom, so it gives you like that Arabian vibe. You know those Aladdin pants, and it's just kind of like so oversized at the bottom. <laughs> That's what these kind of remind me of at the bottom um, of the pants. So it comes with this little silk bag, and once you open it, here is the bag right here. And it also has a little lock feature in here as well. Let me see if I can find it. So it also comes with this little lock right here that says Levoot on it and it's blue. And Levoot basically means, I believe it means vault or something. So I think that is why they included the keychain in there as well. I think that's a really cute, um, you know, addition to the whole thing. You know, branding. Branding is key and I love that. So let me just get this right so I can show you guys how it looks because it is a cross over the shoulder bag. And I've never really worn one of these, but I've always thought they were really cute and really stylish. So let's see how this goes. Can this even cross over my shoulder? I'm not too fat for this. So yes, I played with this bag so much, but it just doesn't work. I should have read the how much length it was and the length of the actual strap because it just doesn't fit over my body. Let me show you guys. I look so crazy in this. But for the sake of this video, I want to show you guys. Like, it's supposed to go cross body. This is not freaking cross body. Like, I'm choking myself. I try to extend it. This, and then, I saw, I want I just, oh my goodness, hold on. I can't even talk because I just can't even get it off. Okay, okay. So I went on their social media and she started different ways. This will not work as a belt for me, like a fanny pack. It won't work like that. I tried to do it like this. They also did it like that. Like, I don't like that. What is that? So I more than likely will be selling this on my Poshmark. I will link it down below for you guys who want to buy it. I will list it as at um, a cheaper price. So you guys, if you want to get in on the collection, I will list this as a cheaper price. I thought there would be like some type of extender, something, so it can be like versatile for everybody. I don't know if they put this on a plus size girl or not, but it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna list this on my Poshmark. You guys also have some other you know, cool stuff on my Poshmark. So I'm gonna link that at the bottom of this video in the descriptions because I'm just so disappointed. I really am, I'm hurt. Okay guys, I'm just gonna give you my whole overall opinion and thoughts on the collection and how it launched. I will say when it did launch on, I believe it was like the 24th of November, oh, no, of October. I believe that's when it launched and when I purchased it. I will say that the launch, when it did launch, I did not see any plus size girls on the launch day. All the girls on the site on that day were really petite, 
really skinny and I did not see any plus size representation. I know she mentioned on her line that they did have a plus size model that was modeling some of the clothes, but they didn't have time to post her on there or something because of that we were shopping so fast or whatever. It just really sounded like to me that it wasn't very as organized as it, as it could have been. And also on launch day, they felt to have a um, style guide on their sizing guide. And so when I was purchasing these items, I was going by what I normally wear, which is a 3X. And some of these items that should have fit, like the bodysuit, they were just cut so small and so tight. And I just really wanted to purchase them because they did go out of stock on a lot of items. So I just really wanted to get the items that I wanted and that I liked. But sadly, those items did not fit me because they did not have a style guide so I could reference to. So you guys, one note that I will say is I really do like the loungers. I know they also have some sweatshirts and stuff like that. So maybe if you were interested in the collection, you could buy a sweatshirt. Because if you're like a bigger plus girl, I don't think that the other items that I tried on will fit you very well. Such as the hoodie, such as the bodysuit, and the bralettes. They're a no-go. But I definitely believe like the over slouchy items and the oversized items will definitely do the plus size girl well within her collection. Collection. Just more of the sexier pieces are a no-go for our body shape if your body shape looks similar to mine. Overall, I will say I was very disappointed in the back that I bought. I expected a lot more than I expected that be like one of my favorite staple pieces in this whole entire uh, box that I did buy. But it was just a huge fail for me. So once again, I will have that and include that in my Poshmark closet. So you guys can you know, shop the link at the bottom to go get it if you want it. It just didn't work for me. Just because something didn't work for my body type doesn't mean it won't work for you. These clothes just didn't work for my body type. But I'm not saying that they're bad or that there's anything wrong with them. They just didn't work for my size. The material was good. The consistency was there. They just, again, didn't work for me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed this huge haul. I know I went through a lot, trying on a lot of different things. So let me know down below, which was your favorite item? Would you purchase from Adrian Houghton's uh, La Boot Loungewear collection? Let me know your thoughts and your comments all down in the comment section down below. And if you guys watched this video this far and still have not subscribed, why haven't you? Don't forget to one second to click that button down below and do not forget to ring, ring, ring that bell. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you like this. If you want to see more hauls like this, give it a big thumbs up and keep on thumbs it up. And until next time, my loves, bye. Till I get up, time is barely out.